Hello, Namaste. Welcome or welcome back to Great Tarot. So, how are you? I hope you're doing good. I hope it's an amazing day. So, if you're new here, if you like my content, please support support my channel by liking, sharing, subscribing. And in the description box, the text that I have used will be listed. Listed. Okay. So, the topic for today is it's finally divine timing for you to hear this message. So, for group number one, you have the spider. Group number two, dog. Group number three, rabbit. Group number four, snake. Group number five, it's an owl. Group number six, moth. Group number seven, crow. And group number eight is cat. So choose an animal that calls you intuitively. And the timestamps will be in the description box. Take your time and then choose. And always remember these are general readings. So take what resonates and leave the rest. And these are timeless readings as well. So whenever you watch this reading, might have a message for you. And I will see you in your group. You have been drawn to the spider. It's finally time. It's divine timing for you to hear this message. So let's see what is the message here for spider group viewers. I am seeing the yin and the yang. So perfect balance. Yeah, something is balancing in your life. Yeah. There is perfect balance, harmony. So let's see. Hmm. Oh, again, if you look at this, this, there is the sun and the cat for me. It's like a little bit of the moon kind of vibe is there, like the hidden energy. So there is this perfect balance of the yin and the yang. And, and because of this perfect balance, the things that were stuck before is moving forward with this horse. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm getting strongly here. Uh, so harmony, progress, something that was stuck before, it's finally going to move. And here it's divine timing and you're hearing it. So that means uh, something is harmonizing in your life and things are progressing for you guys. The yin and the yang is balancing, okay? There is this perfect match happening, perfect balance happening. Again, you're going to shine with the sun. Okay, so let's move on to the cards here. Spider group viewers, what is the message? It's finally time for... Uh, you guys to hear this reading spider viewers what is the message the sun yeah a lot, a lot of success progress i see finally it's time something you were hidden somewhere now finally people are noticing you that is also something i'm getting your work was hidden now finally uh, people are seeing your work and it goes with the spider energy as well if you look at the spider weaves and what happens is spy, a spider traps the insects right that doesn't goes and ask like like doesn't go and uh, you know catch the food comes towards the spider because of the web right so again you have been weaving the web you have been working but you were hidden right your work was hidden no no one recognized now finally people are recognizing so there is definitely progress here finally uh, it feels like the net was there and you were improving your skill now finally there is fish in the net yes so let's see what else here what is the message it's divine timing for spider viewers to know this message it's divine timing for them to hear this message what is it thank you okay you have Oh wow, Earth Mother, feel loved and com comforted. Again, it feels like the Empress kind of vibe, you know. She has everything. She is the Earth Mother. Through she, a lot of things have been born, right? Again, this feels like a very abundant time is coming here. And you will be very satisfied. You will be very fulfilled. You will be very comforted. I really feel like you will be very relaxed because now your work is shining. Now you are being seen. Your uh, yeah, the stuck energy has gone here because you were trying, you were trying like the spider, you were weaving, 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 right? You had this web, you have learned so much skill, you might have invested in many things, but you were not recognized. Now you're recognizing, yeah, you're, you're going to be recognized, there is success, so now you can... You can just relax now, right? Uh, you, you have done so much of hard work, now you, you can relax. You'll feel very comforted. You will feel very fulfilled. I am getting that's what the message is here. 
So let's see for spider group viewers what is the message here. Oh wow, we have the white cune. Again, it feels like she's looking at the hardship she has to go, but finally she made it. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Now you have been seen. No one can. It, it really feels like now you know who you are, your skills. Now no one can. On, no one can uh, walk past by you without noticing you, your charm, your elegance, uh, your skills, your talents. No one can go past by seeing it. They will be very, very in. Uh, yeah they will be like yeah this person has some sort yeah some sort of skills that they can benefit from so i really feel like now this is a time of your recognition because something is harmonizing something was not harm in harmony something was not balanced maybe uh, your fear yeah you had a lot of fear even though you were skilled but you had a lot of fear or maybe you had a lot of uh, self-esteem issues or self-worth issues or lack of confidence i see you that you have been working on it right you have been working on it you have been cultivating that confidence and now you're shining bright now you don't have to worry because you've been seen and there is this progress happening now you can be like yeah i don't have to work that hard now i can just be in nature enjoy my time now i know who i am i have this skill i have learned this skills now this skill is going to benefit me because uh, maybe the skill that you have developed it it takes a lot of time to develop but now you are so good at it that you can do it easily and yeah maybe the skill that you have you have cultivated a skill like you have been weaving you have been learning something now you have you you can do it in much faster way than other people so many people will like you like you because you are much faster you're more efficient so yeah yeah you're very strong you use you you know what you want and you're getting it it, it definitely feels like that kind of vibe is there uh, your energy looks very good here yeah. Okay, so let's see. Um, I even feel like this is a skill that you might have developed by learning by yourself. I feel like that. So it took a little bit of a time. There were a lot of uh, back and forth. There were a lot of setbacks. But now finally, you are in this level where you know everything about this thing. And you're very good at it. You're the master of it. Yeah, and people are finally recognizing it. And many, many people want your service or uh, your yeah they want to work with you so there is lo I, I, as i mentioned uh, you have weaved and so many insects are coming so the spider doesn't have to go it's it's in the web uh eating the food <laughs> it's coming towards it like that's the energy so yeah so let's see you don't have to go cheese anymore things are coming towards you because you're relaxed you're centered you have you have balanced your energies you have let go of the resistance as well because now you believe in yourself you believe in your skills so let's see what else here okay so we have the hope wow again this is the star card recognition definitely recognition is what you're being seen seen your work has been seen maybe for some of you it's like for uh, fame as well okay uh, and we have this hope yeah even though things were very tough for you guys you didn't lose hope you you like the spider you worked on uh, weaving the web you tried it you yeah you kept on learning about yourself more you kept on learning uh, on this you you kept on you know uh, perfecting your skill uh, you tried even though things were not going your way you had so much of hope that you will get this kind of success this kind of recognition you didn't let go of the hope yeah there might be try times of frustration but you didn't you uh, you i feel like you were you were like I, I I'm going to have this this is for me like you were you were so hopeful and that hope is going to be rewarded for you guys so this feels like for some of you it can be a skill that you uh, learned by yourself or or maybe you went somewhere and learned it but there were there was very where, yeah there were times where when you didn't get anything like you tried very hard uh, you did the work but no rewards but you had hope that this is for you. Yeah, you had a lot of hope and that hope is paying off. Look again, we have the throat chakra, the blue color is, is very strong here. So 
I even feel like for many of you, even though you didn't see the results, you had this feeling that this is mine, that this is meant for me. I'm very good at it. So I'm going to try, I'm going to try and you did it and finally, and it's finally divine timing and you're hearing this message. So if, if you haven't seen that kind of recognition or success, it's on the way for you guys with this horse as well here. And through chakra, a lot of communication. Yes, again, communication, things are changing, you're getting communication. Uh, some sort of communication that will open more doors to you and opportunities for you so people are noticing you here yeah so let's see what else here uh, for spider group viewers it's finally divine timing for you to hear this message okay wow we have the queen of pentacles and the hero of pent yes this makes sense so again it feels like a person who is working from home because queen of pentacles is like that she 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 balances her work life and her professional life very well maybe you're someone who has been you know you have been taking care of your family you have been maybe if you have kids you have been raising them as well as you have been learning something new and you have been putting yourself out there uh yeah too much of work i see but you didn't deserve you, you yeah you didn't get what you deserved you might have felt many times you might have felt like your skills were not uh, uh not acknowledged by many right you might have felt defeated many times but you didn't lose hope you there might be times of frustration but you 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 know that somehow somewhere there was a feeling that this that you have to work more for this like thing this thing and you did it and finally with this bunnies maybe bunnies are your sign whenever you see bunnies you might feel like that that this wish of yours this thing that you want is coming like it feels like you want progress in something that you're doing a skill you want to be noticed you want to be recognized and exactly that's happening here but you have done a very great job okay again it feels like the hero for sitting at home learning by yourself or maybe looking at videos doing the self uh, study going to libraries book taking books learning by yourself right at home doing all the work yes uh, yeah sometimes through videos uh, we can learn yeah it feels like self-study but yeah you have been using uh, uh, other platforms to study in it feels like home home in home you studied and you worked and you made something out of it so for some of you this can be like working from home uh, or a business that you learned about and you invested you tried your best but there was so much of up and up and downs but you didn't but you didn't give up you know that this is meant for you because your intuition is also very strong here and you trusted it and look finally this is paying off you yeah i even feel like you might have seen some some level of success as well but not the level of success you want right and finally you're reaching that this all hard work this all uh, yeah it's all learning maybe you have uh, those days where you take care of your home then you come back to study maybe there have been times when you know, you might have uh, not uh, slept well in order to study maybe there, have, there might have been times when you woke up early from everyone yeah before everyone wakes up so you can do this work so yeah there has been a lot of a uh, lot of work that has been put a lot of in, yeah it feels like you have invested in knowledge as well a lot of studies you have done and finally it's time for this upward moment movement okay for growth expansion i feel like for some of you some level of expansion has already happened some sort of success but not the level of success you are wishing for but now it's divine timing you're hearing this for a reason because that level of success is on its way for you okay so prepare for it uh, you know it's like get excited for it so that's what the message is uh, so let's see what else here And I even feel like when you were learning all this, there might have been times where uh, you have learned so much about yourself. Mm, you have grown as a person. You have become more humble. Uh, you have become more knowledgeable, more wiser. Now you know how to 
uh, you know the day to day life activities you know how to handle better you know now how to handle your emotions better so even though uh, the the success the level of success that you wanted you haven't achieved it yet but you have achieved so much so be very proud of yourself and the success level of success that you want it's also coming so be very proud of yourself appreciate yourself more that something is very strong here you got to appreciate because you don't appreciate yourself that much so let's see what else spider group so we have getting back to compass oh interesting as i said uh, you might have been feeling a little bit of lost nowadays at this time maybe you're worrying too much or maybe you're seeing that no matter how hard i try things are not moving forward uh, but things are getting back okay yeah you are going to be recognized for your work so if you have been feeling like your intuition has not been so strong lately it's also coming back on track you will be able to understand what your body is telling you what you need to do next you will be getting a lot of ideas as well so things are coming together okay so that is also there if you have been feeling that and again you know getting back to integrity so sometimes we get lost in the success in the expectations that then we yeah so whenever you are getting lost in that expectations look back look back to your past self and see how far you have come okay so that's very important uh, yeah so let's see the final message here it's divine timing for them to hear oh wow in the near future oh the situation is improving yes look so yeah um look the <laughs> yeah it feels like something has not been working out in your favor lately and maybe there is a little bit of stress a little bit of anxiety like why things are not moving forward because i have done so much of work right maybe right now this is i feel like this is a message for your present condition things are going to improve uh, in the near future don't worry things are going to get back so whenever you have these doubts whenever you feel very doubtful whenever you see yourself focusing too much on the results get back and look at your past and see how far you have come not only in this progress wise as a person how far you have come if you are a mother look at yourself and and you will see how far you have come as a mother as well how much you have improved like you look at, you know look at every area of your life and you will see how much you have done you have done so much of work so don't get worried uh, things if there has been a situation that has been a little bit heavy at this time um your angels are telling you in the near future the situation is going to be improving so don't worry there might be a new direction that will be shown to you guys uh maybe a new way uh, will be shown to you guys and as and i feel like you will be doing it maybe a new idea will be given to you guys and and i feel like as you are trusting your intuition you will be picking up on that idea and that will lead to a lot of growth and expansion here progress so something is definitely harmonizing balancing and once our heart like it feels like your heart chakra was blocked and it's opening up But once it's open we receive all the blessings Uh, so yeah so something was there that was not balanced so as you balance it things are improving so yeah things are improving things are getting into this harm harmonious stage okay so that's all i have for spider group viewers hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye So if you have been drawn to the dog image it's divine timing it's finally divine timing for you guys to hear this message uh so you're ready uh for that nose piercing or for that piercing that you have been waiting to do or maybe to get your first tattoo i just felt like uh that's the that's for some of you like you're ready for your first tattoo you're ready for that piercing uh you're ready for something that you want to change maybe your hair color or something like that you're ready for it okay uh yes go do it everything will be good don't worry so let's see uh, what is the message for dog viewers it's finally divine time for them to hear this message oh white dress so some of you you're ready to get married as well 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, something that you wanted to do for the first time, you're ready for it. But you're hesitating at this time. Something that you wanted to do, you haven't done this thing, you want to do it, you want to try it. Like the, I don't know why I'm getting like first kiss. <laughs> yes, you didn't have your first kiss. Maybe you are, you're ready for it. I, or maybe you didn't have... Um, like a tattoo you're ready for the first tattoo you don't have any piercing you're ready for the first piercing like you have this uh, wish and here you are ready for it so yeah it's like uh, come out of your shell come out so maybe for some of you are hesitating whether you need to get married or not i feel like your your spirit team is telling you it's finally divine timing you're ready for it uh, yes if you have a partner if you have a long time a relationship maybe you are ready for it okay uh, so that's what i'm getting here for some of you if you are uh, if you feel like you need to start doing something like um, you haven't played um, tennis right you ha don't know anything about it but you're feeling like a calling to learn about it go learn about it uh, maybe you want to learn skating yes it's divine timing so it's time to challenge yourself and do something that you haven't been uh, yeah you didn't have the courage to do it but it was always in the back of your mind maybe for some of you it can be also shaving your head like but yeah you want to do sh uh, shave your head but finally yeah it feels like you have this wish you have been thinking about it but somehow somewhere you don't have the courage to take that first step and here it's, di it's divine timing at this time go for, do it yeah you will feel very good this is the time for that yeah come out of your shell you yeah you have that in you you have the courage you can do it so maybe for some of you are very afraid of the needles or tattoo yeah even though you want to do it you're very afraid but you you have the courage you can face it you can do it or maybe yeah because of the because you're afraid of the needles you didn't get your piercing but you love piercing so you have this wish but you didn't do it uh yeah maybe for some of you you want to do some sports you love it but at the same time you feel like you don't have enough strength you have it you have it for some of you this can be the feeling of opposition from your family as well maybe making a changes in your hair dress maybe you feel like your family is will oppose um, right now you know you are like this dragon who can who can stand up for themselves and I even feel like it's divine timing that means uh, your feelings are more important than feelings you're not harming anyone else uh, by doing something on your face that makes you happy uh, like on your arms getting a tattoo it's it's yeah you are you're ready uh, I'm getting that energy from your spirit thing so let's see what else is ready like yeah it's divine timing for dog as for dog viewers it's divine timing for them to hear this message dog viewers oh protection drop your shields oh my god look again you have this shield like it's time to drop it. You don't have to protect yourself anymore. Well, what are you protecting? That's keeping in you in you in a shell, and that's what I was talking about. It feels like like the peacock. Uh, this you know, the peacock feathers. Uh, the peacock feathers. Like, what if the peacock doesn't show its beauty? right again when it dances it's so beautiful what if the peacock decides that it shouldn't show its beauty and it protects it <laughs> uh, yeah we will miss out on such a beautiful uh, view right like that why are you st stopping yourself uh, from doing something that makes you happy or maybe why are you stopping yourself from showing that part of you that is so beautiful and you kind of hide it in this sh uh, in this shell why you do that so here it's divine timing to express yourself to show who you really who, re who you really are yes in the past you might have felt like you need to uh, be in the shell you cannot show it but now it's time it's time you are protected yourself you don't have to protect yourself by hiding by being in this uh, shell you can come out of your comfort zone and show who you are so drop that shield and do something that challenges you 
so don't don't yeah don't protect yourself try try new things right if you have this yeah it feels like some of you want to do something but at the same time you're protecting yourself you're so afraid of what other people will say so you just have this shield and you go around with it so drop that shield and do something that makes you happy <laughs> so yeah you are like the peacock just so shine bright show your skills express yourself that's what the message is for you guys so this is what you're meant to hear this is this is time the time is right to get out of your shell mm. so let's see what else for dog viewers so for some of you lately you might be getting a lot of ideas as well because i feel like your crown chakra is also open a little like different crazy ideas and those crazy ideas are like you got to get out of your comfort zone for that crazy idea you will have to get out of your comfort zone you cannot protect yourself you cannot uh, be shielded you have to drop the shield so listen to that crazy idea work on it guys that's what it's divine timing for that so let's see because yeah it everything will be okay you will be safe you don't have to protect because divine will protect you okay oh wow we have oh a splendidly dressed rabbit <laughs> interestingly i was talking about the a peacock and all and i was talking about piercing tattoos and you we have a splendidly dressed rabbit so yes maybe you are you're feeling like i need to change my style i need to up to update my wardrobe i i want to paint my uh, like uh, sorry paint i want to color my hair i want to cut my hair short yeah i want to change my style style game but you're so afraid that you do the old thing only instead of doing something that makes you happy so you're ready for it so if you want to dress up in a in a way that that you feel like it's best for you maybe you feel like um you can express yourself yeah maybe the yeah maybe there is some sort of way, way you know the way you dress for you it can be like a form of expression as well uh so yeah so yeah it's time it's time it's time for that change it's time to uh, let go of that shield and do it anyways here it's divine timing for you guys so don't hide anymore yeah show yourself like take some space <laughs> you yeah don't hide yourself um so let's see what else uh, because we have the two moons you have been feeling it for a very long time but you have been resisting it uh, so yes yeah, so look again uh, conflict and defeat so again it feels like what if other people will say it what if what if yeah it's, it's like the five of swords energy and five of swords energy is like no one is winning no one is losing maybe you're afraid of someone's else opinion what if they don't like it they see something so again there might be people around you like that who are very judgmental who don't um who don't accept new things who don't like new things if some if uh, yeah maybe maybe you might have done something before and then you got a lot of a uh, lot of hurtful words you uh, yeah uh i feel like divine is there protecting you here so don't be afraid of these people so yeah and that's something i'm getting here it's like we have the transformation it's time to uh, release your fears from these kinds of people and choose yourself here so yeah uh so let's see it's divine timing for you to hear this message dog group okay we have the king of pentacles I'll take one more card okay so that's the one yeah <laughs> look again look the five of swords and the emperor and the king of pentacles look at this energy this energy is someone who is so so hurt so lost they are so afraid they are so afraid of other people words what other people think yeah again it feels like maybe because in your past there might have been certain events that happened that stops you from uh, yeah that's why you feel like you need to protect yourself right that's why you kind of uh, it feels like kind of hide yourself you don't show yourself you don't express yourself not anymore 
you are the emperor you are the king of pentacles it's not the time to hide yourself anymore it's time to take up space here i feel like that it's time to express yourself it's time to share your values share your yeah share what you want it's time for that here you're ready for it it's time to yeah it's time to dress in a way that really resonates with your soul it's time to shave that head don't worry of uh, about other people like yeah if you want to do it like something that you want to do but but you are so afraid of the hurtful words that you don't do it but take your power with these two cards i feel like that take your power back drop that shield take your power back and do it do what makes you happy maybe for some of you you want to travel somewhere you want to do that skydiving anything like anything challenging go for it it's divine timing for it okay maybe you want to start a business maybe you want to change your career i don't know what but it's divine timing it can be a small thing like piercing to big things but don't let this hurt of the past stop you from expressing yourself don't let the hurt of the past put you in a shell when you can get out of your shell and show the real you to the world okay so take more space i'm getting that kind of energy so let's see what is it it's finally divine timing for you to hear this message what is it oh yeah again it feels like falling angels again the fears look we have the further gate the bold step forward again the fears of the past the people maybe you have been betrayed in the past maybe you have gone through a lot of rough rough yeah again it feels like you can sometimes don't trust people as well uh, yeah there is yeah because of this past energy sometimes you kind of stop yourself you're so afraid of falling down again so that you feel like it's better to be in that shell but that's not making you happy so you will have to take that bold step further here forward right you will have to take the gate you have to you will have to do it yes it's challenging it means you have to come out of your shell but it's better than staying there so it's finally time to take that bold step forward and don't be afraid of falling don't be afraid of that so let's uh, let's see the final message here unlikely forgiveness oh this time look we have a yes as well as the back of the deck energy here <laughs> again yeah again it's it feels like uh, you got to uh, yeah something happened in your past yeah maybe it can be like uh, you did something different and someone said something and it took a toll like it it made you feel like you cannot get out of your shell it made you feel like you cannot express yourself yeah like like the last time it's not going to happen it's unlikely it's not going to happen like that this five of swords energy is not going to happen you're not going to fall that's unlikely what is going to happen uh, what is going to happen is like you are going to rise and you will be emperor you look at the emperor who is so confident in his skills he expresses himself he is not afraid of anyone and if you look at the king of pentacles balanced energy right they're shining they're showing who they are they're not afraid they're not in this a uh, comfort zone they challenge themselves and get out of their comfort zone as well so here one question is what you need to forgive yeah there might be some people and you are you know the more you forgive them you know it's not because sometimes we don't have to forgive people so we can go and again get into their life sometimes forgiveness is necessary for us to move forward so some words of theirs had such a huge impact on you that you're carrying you're carrying those words with you and you are not making the necessary changes that makes you happy and instead of making those necessary changes you are protecting yourself and you are in the shell so forgiveness means you can forgive them so you can move forward so those words will not affect you anymore so you can you can let go of that right so here that's what the important thing is forgiveness will set you free here so yeah is there someone who you need to forgive is it you that you need to forgive so yeah why are you yeah even though you want to do it why you don't do it so it's time it's finally time 
okay so yeah that's what the message is for uh, the dog group viewers hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye I have been drawn to the rabbit. Let's see what is the message. It's finally divine timing uh, for you to hear this message. You know, I'm getting this song of Selena Gomez, like from people to, you know, to people you don't know, something like that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so maybe there might be certain people that now have become strangers or uh, yes it's okay if they're becoming strangers. Yeah, sometimes some people are not meant to stay in our life right maybe we felt like they're there forever but sometimes we have to let go of and it's finally you let go of these people uh, yeah it's finally time and i feel like you will be letting go of them yeah sometimes we got to sometimes some people are not meant for uh, forever right okay so let's see so rabbit group viewers what is it it's finally divine timing for them to share this message uh, oh my god yeah we have the ring yeah maybe you were committed to something and it's finally time to let go of it you thought that this is your wish that you're meant for this this will give you happiness and you did really hard work for it it's finally time to let go of it yeah again this can be a dream job of yours that you got and after getting there you didn't like it Maybe for some some time it worked. It was your dream. It was your dream. You were very committed to it. It gave you happiness for a while. You did all the work. But now, now it's finally time to let go of it. So yeah, you knew all these things. Like this is what, what you wanted. This was your dream job or this was your dream, dream person. But it's not working anymore. And you know that it's time to let go of. And yes, it's divine timing. It's time to let go of this thing. Yes, you might have gone through a lot of hardships to achieve this thing. It might have made you happy for a while, but not anymore. It's boring now, right? It's not giving you that fulfillment. There's this void feeling. You're alone. If, if it's in a relationship, you're feeling alone. And it's, yeah, even though you have been committed, it's not giving you that happiness. So maybe that's the reason why I was hearing that song, some sort of commitment. When it doesn't make us grow, it doesn't make us expand, it's better to let go of it because this thing is not making you that expand or grow in any any form. So it's finally divine timing to let go of this wish, let go of this person, let go of, of this commitment. So let's see what else you're here meant to hear. It's divine timing for you to hear this. Mm, sets oh my god look set your sights higher because there is so much amazing things that is <laughs> that is there in your destiny so don't let this commitment that is not making you happy stop you yeah there is more better things more good things so set your sights higher so maybe this is a job that it's okay it's okay it's fine you're working but now you're not happy it's not growing you're not fulfilled in it so sets your sight higher. Maybe there's something amazing, something better than it. Maybe this can be a relationship. But all the time you have to sacrifice. All the time you are the one who is doing everything. You're not getting that love. You're not being heard. Yes. In the yeah, maybe maybe outside it's okay. Everyone looks at you as a very good couple. But maybe maybe things are not working out in your favor, right? Yeah. For if you're resonating, so it's time to set your sights higher. Why to settle down? Why to, uh, yeah, it feels like some of you are uh, settling in for less when you can have more. So it's finally divine timing to let go of uh, the things that is not making you happy, that is not making you grow. If you're feeling stuck, this is time to let go of those things and to set your sights higher and to look at the stars and imagine that yeah, I want to have this. Like, it's time for new dreams, actually. It's time for that. It's time to set your sight higher, bigger dreams, bigger goals, and go for it. Because it's making you boring now, this thing. So maybe there is like the, these dreams with the stars, again the stars. It's time to uh, have more dreams. More, more dreams, like big dreams, to desire something else. Maybe you're already feeling like that. It's time for that. Don't ever lower your standards. 
If something is not working out, don't try to fit in yourself. You're not meant to fit in. So let's see. It's finally divine timing for you to hear this message. Okay. Waking up. Yeah, wake up, guys. Wake up. It's time to wake up. That's what it is. Why are you sleeping on it? Maybe there is a big idea. And you're like, oh, maybe I'll just work on this. That's enough. Why? Set your sights higher. Wake up and go for that big idea. Go for that big goal. It's divine timing for that. Yeah. Maybe it's time to wake up, right? You're being like in that... Yeah, maybe for some of you are in this illusion, like this is the thing, this is where I need to settle down, or this is the relationship I need to settle down, even though it's not making me happy, even though I'm uncomfortable, even though I don't get the love, but I'm settling. Here your spirit team is telling you, it's divine timing to wake up, set your sights higher. You know, you can say that to this person, like this is what I want from a relationship, I want this, I want this. If that person is not understanding it, you are not here to settle down always. Instead of settling down, set your, set your standards high. And you will meet those kinds of people. When you set yourself high, you will meet those kinds of people. But something is not working and it's time to change it. It's time to let go of something. It's time to wake up here. So let's see what else here. You have been feeling it. I feel like it's finally time to make that change. Maybe this is a place that you're not vibing with. Maybe an apartment that you're not vibing with. Maybe a neighborhood. Yeah, whatever it is, don't force yourself. Don't, yeah, it's not aligning with your heart anymore. Something is not aligning with your heart anymore. Yeah, look, it's time to let go of. We have the Eight of Cups energy, emotional withdrawal. Yeah, maybe for some of you, you are like, no, this is for me, this is more me. You're trying to fit in, you're trying to do everything to make it work, but it's not working anymore. It's not working. It's time to let go of it. It feels like the shadow. You know it deep down that it's not working and you need to let go of it. But somehow, somewhere, you, your, your mind is like, logical mind is like, no, I have to work. I have to do. I have to make it happen. I have to make it happen. But no matter how hard you try, it's not. It's better to let go of it. And there is so much bigger things for you. So don't focus on this thing, right? Again, you know it. I feel like if it's resonating, this is a group where you know you have to let go of this thing and you know that it's not working out for you anymore. And that's what your spirit team is telling you. It's finally time to have new dreams, new goals, big dreams. Set your sights higher and let go of this thing. So, but somehow, somewhere you might have worked really hard on it. So you have this feeling like, I shouldn't let go of it. So you try it again and again and again. But the same result. Because now your energy and this person's energy or this thing is not vibing. There is more better things for you. So start having new dreams. Wake up to the reality. Maybe you have to... Um, it feels like you really have those big dreams but you are like not accepting that. You are like... Trying to stay in here, it's it's divine timing to let it go. That's what your spirit team spirit team wants you to know if you're resonating. So let's see what is it. Rabbit. Oh my God, Ace of Swords. You know it, guys. You know it. You know it. I really feel like that. You know it already. But you were somehow, somewhere, somehow, somewhere with this Four of Pentacles. Look at it. Yeah. Somehow, somewhere, you are choosing not to use that key. You are sitting there in this comfort and you know that it's not making you happy. It's like a prison, right? A prison where this first pe people, they get, there is a story here. A prison was there and uh, one king came and looked at the conditions and there was no good food. So he offered good food. They got a lot of good food. So amazing. Then they, uh, then another king came, some, uh, another person came and saw that there was no good clothes. They got good clothes. Amazing. Then the third person came and they felt like there was not too much of uh, like bad 
up supply supplies they gave that also so everything was good inside the prison but the fourth king came and he saw that these people are in the prison right and he freed them so now they are out of the prison doing something they they do want to do right so like that why are you stuck here when you have the key you know it it's finally divine timing to use that key look interestingly we have the locks as well and you have the key but you are like thinking whether i should do open and get out of this thing yes get out you have the key you have the wisdom you have the knowledge you can make it happen so this yeah maybe you are getting out of this old life new maybe career wise anything you will have something much better here so get out of this okay you look again the back of the deck energy is the magician you're the magician you have you have it in you you can make anything come true so set your sights higher here it's finally time to leave something it's time to use that key you have that knowledge wisdom so don't choose to stay here wake up you're not meant for here right you're meant for bigger things more things more abundant things so let's see what else is the message here group number three yeah wandering yes again it feels like the up and down energy here you ask spirit whether you should let go of it or not then you again you might get the answer as well like it's time for this new beginning right and then you go back again you like again ask it feels like this back and forth energy where you have the answer you know it it's time to let go of it but you are like again asking spirit is can i do this can i do this like spirit is telling you you know your answer you know it right wake up now there is this new beginning that is written for you guys so have new dreams new goals set your sights higher there is something amazing happening new doors are opening for you guys so why are you stuck in this here get out it's time to let go of this thing so you can have much better things it feels like with this like you always ask spirit like is it okay can i stay here how can i make it work but spirit gives you like don't make it work let it go you know it but you're like again asking the same questions and getting the same answers now you cannot get stuck here anymore so get out of that it's time to let go and embrace this new beginning that is written for you that will give you so much of happiness it will show you a world that you haven't seen before so let's see the final message here Oh my god oh my god there is definitely bigger opportunities coming your way guys there is bigger opportunity just it just wait for some time you there is new this new beginning is starting for you guys so think big start thinking big start visualizing your new life guys because there is an amazing opportunity uh, full of abundance waiting for you here so yes it's finally time to let go of something that you have been holding on tightly that doesn't make you happy here that's what the message is for the rabbit group viewers hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye if you have been drawn to the snake let's see what is the message it's divine timing for you to hear this message so i'm i'm seeing sunflowers okay uh, and uh, someone is dancing around the sunflowers Uh, so happiness happy vibes i'm getting here so maybe there is a good news that is coming your way and you're meant to hear uh, hear it now so let's see what is the message it feels like some of you are going to do happy dances you know when something amazing happens we do happy dances i'm getting that energy so let's see for the snake uh, viewers who have been resonating with the snake let's see what is the message here <clears throat> okay okay look we have the saturn and we have the lotus and if you look at the lotus it blossoms it blossoms in the muddy waters but lotus is so beautiful and i really feel like that after all the hardships with the saturn right uh, after going through a lot finally it's your time <laughs> it's your time to blossom finally you are going to be seen for who you really are your beauty because lotus is so beautiful 
so you're going to be seen and i was seeing sunflowers as well sunflowers like if it it brings a lot of sunshine i feel like that a lot of sunshine is coming your way so something that you have been really really desiring like again two hearts are uniting it can be a desire of yours unity of your desire that you always wanted to have right uh, with the starfish you have been really really working hard towards it you have been working on yourself your inner space you have been working uh, on yeah it feels like you have in order to get to this blossoming yeah it can be self development yeah you want to become this version of yourself who has this much who has this success that's that's where you're getting ahead okay it can be with your behaviors as well maybe there were certain behaviors that you were not able to quit finally it was very hard to quit finally you're over it you have healed that and now you're blossoming so definitely there is blossom a lot of happy dances i'm seeing here it's finally that is the message here so let's see for the snake group it's finally time to hear this message it's divine timing for you to hear this message snake viewers what is the message <clears throat> broken arrow embrace the energy of peace okay and we have the lady enjoy growth and reap rewards as well as the back of the deck energy so yeah uh, we have uh, embrace the energy of peace so maybe this is a message for you at this time if you're feeling little worried uh, don't worry uh, embrace the energy of peace the more you peace the more you cultivate the peace the more you will see in the outer reality because there is something amazing that is coming very soon you will be harvesting something you will be enjoying your rewards as well uh, again the bees might be of significant for you guys um and bees like hard work your hard work is paying off so at this time if you're feeling a little bit up or down if you're feeling a little worried embrace the energy of peace okay use a palo santo or sage or any agarbatti or incense <clears throat> and you know cleanse your space uh maybe meditating or using certain oils will also relax if you have certain oils relaxing oils use that as well so right now you've got to be in this energy because an amazing news is coming some good news is on the way you're going to blossom here okay so don't let this worry uh come and take your present moment away from you okay so let's see what else here <clears throat> It's divine timing for you to hear this message for the snake group viewers. Okay, wow. Okay, it feels like the cune of hearts. Oh, cune of hearts. If you look at the cure of hearts in the tarot, it's the cure of cups, right? The heart. So something that you have been desiring, it's coming into fruition here. Yeah. it feels like you are going to have the control the authority if look if if you look at this image it looks like a person who knows their deal they look a little bit um like yeah they look like a person who is controlling or something like that but you know if i read uh, you know i'm i'm going to take this card as intuitively so again the heart and we have the heart here so you are going to embrace the energy of peace for sure Uh, so something that you have been really really working hard on if things have been difficult in that area there is a desire that is going to come true so be strong at this time be strong at this time okay no matter what is your external condition it doesn't matter how you feel internally is important because there is an amazing news coming uh, amazing uh, yeah ama yeah you're blossoming you're going to be very happy so what you need to do is to be strict with yourself so if you're seeing that you're wandering you're focusing too much on the external conditions come back to your heart and release that worry and embrace the energy of peace so there is something good going to happen some sort of desires that is yeah some sort of desires of yours is manifesting something that is very very close to your heart is manifesting and that's why you will be doing this happy dance right you have gone through a lot of hardships so one thing you need to be aware of is like right now then don't get into this negative mindset even though you are you are not seeing in your external reality your inner reality should be of peace magic happens miracle happens right universe yeah so universe can show miracles in i mean multiple in amazing ways your universe can 
uh, show miracles. So at this time, uh, be like that. The more you are in the energy of peace and the less you are focusing too much on the outer reality, the better. Okay, so that, that's where you need to take control at this time. Because definitely something is brewing here. Something amazing is going to happen. You're going to blossom. And again, I'm, I'm seeing the crown, like it feels like a castle here. So yeah, there is, there is so much good coming. So at this time, be strict with yourself. Whenever you're seeing um, that the outer reality is making you feel fearful, pull back and come inside and have that hope. So that's where you need to be a little strict with yourself, okay? Yeah. Right now. Uh, so let's see what else here. Yeah, again, look, authority. Take power over your heart. Take control over your heart. So there might be certain things happening right now that you're not like. You're not liking it. Maybe you want to see growth at this time. Maybe you're not seeing. Your outer reality is not like the inner reality. You have been doing the work. As I mentioned, you with this lotus, you're blossoming. Your inner, in, you know, inner, inner, inner space is very, 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 very beautiful. It's full of roses. It's full of garden. Like good, good uh, flowers. It's so high vibe you're in a reality at this time but you're in your outer reality you're not seeing that results right uh, so here there is an amazing thing happening because universe has to come and show us what we feel internally right that's the mirror principle but you might be doing it but now also you're not seeing the results so don't get up and down at this time because your manifestation is coming soon uh, so be assured about it like the emperor, this is done, this is yours, that's it. No more thinking, no more looking at the uh, outside reality and getting worried. That's what you need to completely let go of here. If that means you need to be a little delusional, it's, it's, it's time for that. Because you're at the end, you're, go you're almost there, you're going to reach and get it. So that's what I'm getting here. So take that authority, your inner, yeah, focus on your inner, inner feelings, uh, just water what you want to grow there. Even if you're not seeing right now in your outer reality, it's okay. Because there is some sort of good news coming very soon here. So if you want to take a break, if you want to send, spend some alone time, if you're getting too attached to the outcome, if you're seeing like that, um, do that. Because I feel like your manifestation, some sort of manifestation, some sort of your heart desire is on, is on, is on its way. So be, be in this energy of peace. Embrace the energy of peace here. So that's what I'm getting. For you guys at this time, group number four. So uh, yeah, the snake group. So let's see what the tarot has to add. It feels like, again, these two people, they're very sure that this will happen. Even though the outer reality has not manifested, they know that this will happen. That's how you should be. Like my wish is already done. It is going to happen. I'm going to have that trust. So whenever your heart is wavering, like your mind is going in circles telling you that it's not going to happen, that's when you need to be strict and take power and authority at this time. Hmm? That's your advice, I feel like. So let's see. It's divine timing. What's, what's divine timing for you to hear this message? Wow. Okay, look, this is your energy. I feel like four of cups. So what happens is when we are expecting too much and we are doing everything, I really feel like this group is doing whatever they can do. They might be using techniques or they might be doing the work. But at the same time, when they look at their outer reality, what happens is they're not seeing the results. Uh, yeah. So if you cannot focus too much on outer reality, because it will lead to this kind of frustration of four of cups. Uh, feeling blocked so we need to let go of that so so i would recommend you not to focus too much on the outer circumstances and fo focus in your in your internal okay so the doorbell rang so i had to go so let's see more so what else here what they need to know wow we have something new is birthing guys Something amazing is going to birth with this empress. Look again. You're going to this next stage. Your reality, whole reality is shifting here. 
from this reality to this reality that you have been wanting for so don't let that outer circumstances make you feel like nothing is happening because behind the scenes things are happening so engage in activities that gives you a lot of comfort if you want to learn something new while you wait do that as well look again the fear this is what i'm talking about here yeah so again this is like eight of swords and three of pentacles here uh, maybe you you might feel like you're not going getting ahead you are not going to blossom other people are blossoming you know those kinds of fears i feel like at this time as you are approaching your manifestation as this it feels like a mother who is approaching her birth and now she is very 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 worried yeah she is going to see her baby but now she is having all those negative thoughts that that is not good at all that can damage her health that can damage her well-being right at this time your manifestation is coming so i really feel like it's done it's coming it's going to be you will be receiving it very soon or opportunity whatever it is but this fear is what you need to take control on so that's why don't focus too much on the outer reality at this time focus on your inner reality and if you can just let go of that inner reality sorry outer reality that's better for example a person who is trying to lose weight right just an example and he see is looking at the scale every time and he get really they at that the result the outcome can give us lot of stress and we will feel like we are not moving ahead but that person's energy might be good because they the person is exercising so that's the thing you don't have to focus too much on the outer reality at this time how you feel that's what it is so the more you focus on the outer reality what will happen is it will give you lot of lot of like these four of cups and eight of swords kind of energy when you will might you might feel like nothing is happening and why my life is like this you know all those negative thoughts that's what is not needed at this time because you are it feels like the empress energy right right now you are ready to give that birth that manifestation that you want it's coming it's on the it's on the on the horizon for you guys so this one advice is very important so don't let the fear take you over at this time because the more we fear the more delays happen so that's why okay so let's see or maybe if there are people who you talk to give you a lot of fear please stay away from stay away from that kind of people as well choose choose peace over these kinds of people uh so let's see what else oh many mask the authentic self ego oh wow look at it sometimes it's because of our ego only na we feel like we are not ahead we might lose it these are all our illusion these are all our fear that we need to let go of at this time so release all those things and be sure like you have done the work and you deserve the success that's it be sure be be you that's it Lo uh, remove all those things that doesn't align with you anymore again it feels like you uh, you have been doing a lot of work as i mentioned with this ego sublimation uh, sub sublimation and the authentic self i really see that you have been releasing what doesn't serve you you know your own habits you have been doing the work maybe uh, at this time you you might be uh, seeing that you have been uh, you have been drawn to good foods lately maybe you have been eating well uh, good foods maybe you have been seeing like certain habits that was not good for you you have been not focusing on that you you have been seeing that you have been more authentic you might have been seeing that because you are letting go of that ego right this is an ego that that is happening so yes you are blossoming you're blossoming your energy freak you are going to be in this high vibe so don't let this low vibe energy take you over at this time because your energy is high so may maybe there is a chance you might be pulled down by other people who are of low vibe or the fear you know sometimes we get so stay away from all those things that's very important because your manifestation is is coming i really feel like that's so why at this time uh, let go of all that unnecessary worry fear just focus on what you want to grow and that's it that's what, that's only should be your focus everything else no and if there are people who are creating a lot of fear in you let them go Uh, for for a period of time don't take their energy okay because there is something beautiful that is manifesting for you here that you have been waiting for you're going to both with this empress here uh, so let's see final message here 
it's divine timing for you to know this message so let's see who is this and likely things will go wrong so this is your fear that i feel like your spirit guides are telling you so maybe like again when you look at the outer reality you will feel like it's not going to happen unlikely it's uh, it's, it's not going to happen look nothing has happened that's what you need to let go of at this time that's what you need to release okay yeah one more and then we will end your reading okay we have got We have to choose a new direction here. Okay, so why this choose a new direction? I will give you more information. What is this? Oh, again, this can be like all these people are praying to this, and but this these two people are alone. I, I feel like this woman is with the angel showing her the way. Again, so with this three of pentacles and the eight of swords can be like that as well. Yes, without clarification, I got it. Like this, this is that. This is that energy here. With this eight of swords and three of pentacles, sometimes we compare or sometimes we feel like we are not reaching there. Or maybe there are people around us who are making us feel like that we what we are doing is not going to work because we might be doing something different, right? And they might be tell, making us feel like this path is wrong. You have to choose a different path. But you have already chosen this different path, right? Yeah, you have already chosen a different path. You are only already doing things that is in a very different way, that is very authentic to you. You are not doing something something that is not authentic, not authentic at all this is something that resonates with your soul resonates with your heart and yes you're going to achieve the success that you want so yeah don't let anyone tell you that it's not going to work out or this is this is too good to be true or this dream is too big you know stay away from these people these people are the masses you are here to do a uh, take a different road and you have already taken that road and yes you are going to see that manifestation here yeah okay so yeah so that's all i have for group number four the snake group hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye if you have been drawn to the hour let's see what is the message it's finally time for you to hear this message it's divine timing okay so let's see what's the message here I'm getting the energy of like you are an old soul. So let's see. Your intuition is very, very sharp, on point, okay? So we have the catch. Oh, your hard work is protected. That's what you need to do. Whatever hard work you're doing at this time, it's protected, it's safe. Uh, you're going to see happy results, happy outcomes. Uh, so that's one thing. And here we have the eight, eight, maybe a number that you're seeing often is 888. So your abundance, your manifestation, it's all safe. Your hard work is safe. You're protected. Um, Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, again, you know, safety is very strongly here with this uh, dog as well. Are you worried about something or are you worried about someone's safety? So it's uh, if you, it's time to know that you're all safe, your family members are safe, your hard work or money that you made uh, through your hard work, it's all safe, it's all protected. If, you, if it's about your pet, yes, they are also safe, they are protected because we have the dog and the cat. Maybe you guys have both dog and cat and all your pets are safe and protected uh, and then we have the song charm here okay so again listen to your intuition listen to the guidance that your in, uh, heart is telling you uh, listen to the song of your own heart because it is going to guide you it is going to protect you okay i even feel like there is a spirit guide around you that is protecting you uh, yeah and the animals if you have pet animals i really feel like that they are they came into your life for a reason maybe you will know it later you might be you might be an animal lover as well for some of you <laughs> okay so let's see more and if you don't have pets it's divine timing for you to adopt a pet <laughs> take home a pet you're ready for or you're ready to be a pet owner yes maybe for some of you your heart is calling like your heart is telling you, it's going, uh, I want a pet, I just want a pet, right? Your heart is calling. But at the same time, you're like, no, 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 it's not, uh, it's going to be too much of work. What if, uh, what if something happens? Do I have money to take care of this pet? Yes, everything will be okay. So if you have this calling to adopt a pet, then 
go for it okay <laughs> it's time uh, so let's see what is the message for the owl group it's divine timing for them to hear dream and journey and you have to take care of your needs here okay we have the wolf energy as well here okay look again the snowflake reminds me of the uniqueness that you have your dream is unique your journey is unique here what you need to know at this time is like it's okay to be different it's okay to be unique the way you take care of people the way you take care of uh, uh, yourself might be different but that's okay that's perfect because you are different right so again maybe you are an animal lover and you want to adopt more pets it's okay it's okay that's what if that what make you happy if that's the way you take care of yourself go for it do it okay um yeah th that's what i'm shown you are not maybe your your friends have different kind of vibe right now and they might be asking you why are you living like this because it's you it's that's that's who you are you want to live in a different way that makes you happy you take care of yourself you take care of other people in a different way the way that makes you happy go for it your journey your dreams are different it's unique it doesn't vibe with other people maybe you just want to have a small home with a lot of pets or maybe you want to call your family your pets that's what your heart guides if that works that that if that works for you it's it's okay that's fine that's it that's it that's okay that's fine that's what i feel like your spirit guides are telling you maybe you have been questioning too much right uh, and maybe you're like oh maybe i'm not uh, i have to live like other people no what makes you happy even if it's unique even if it's different even your journey is completely different from other people what makes you happy do it <laughs> do it go for it you will be safe you will be protected just take care of your needs do eat well eat healthy sleep well that's it and follow your bliss follow your heart i don't know this this group looks like they just don't want to do this 9 to 5 job they want do they don't want to you know climb the copper uh, this corporate ladder they just want to be at home maybe they want to have a lot of pets right maybe they are uh, yeah maybe for some of you just an example like maybe you are 22 only and you want to marry at this time if that's what you want go for it maybe you are 47 and you don't want to marry you want to be alone you want to be uh, in a place where there is a lot of pets if you want to do that that's okay so don't let society decide for you right again that's what your message is what really makes you happy maybe getting married to young might not be uh, something that everyone is liking around you maybe they're telling you this is not going to make you happy but maybe you know that you want to live like this maybe you feel like you have to you want that experience right yeah maybe you want that and that's okay <laughs> and that's okay that's what i feel like here maybe for some of you just want to be at home at peace not going every day to work you might want to work from home but everyone around you is like they are doing like going to big big companies they are driving big huge huge cars maybe you don't want that you just want to have a small farm where you want to raise a lot of animals maybe you want to have a, a sweetheart of yours maybe you want to just raise kids and that's okay <laughs> that's okay and as you as you go with your journey as you embrace your uniqueness you will be taken care of that's your that's that's look again trust 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 at this time right again um see beyond your current situation here so maybe for some of you are like what if other people they're telling me that's not right so maybe because of society because of other people you might you might be feeling little heavy right you might be feeling uh, like can i listen to my heart 
can i have this unique journey can i just do what my dream can i follow my passion can i follow my dreams will i be taken care of you know will will my hard work will pay off those questions like because at the end of the day you have to make money right and this is a unique journey will i be provided for <laughs> so again these questions see beyond the current situation there is so much more that you are not seeing here and look they are telling you to let go of the need to be right so yeah maybe this is your right this is your dream right this is your dream but maybe other people are not understanding you you cannot make other people understand your dream because that doesn't resonate with your soul what resonates with you doesn't resonate with other people they might be like the herd of sheep just following and you are the awake one right you are awake awake and you're like i don't want to follow that i just want to do things in a different way so it's going to be very hard if you want to make everyone understand because at the end of the day everyone is not going to understand your journey because it might not make them happy their world is different their view is different their perspective is different but what what makes you happy do it anyway that's why it's it's like embrace the energy of peace so just yes you might be right in your choices but maybe other people will not get it and that's okay so if there are if there are people around you who are telling you why are you doing this like change that uh, go and seek that job maybe you're doing something in a different way see beyond the current situation maybe they cannot or maybe they cannot see that they cannot see how universe is abundant how universe gives maybe you can because you are an old soul look again you are this old soul i feel like that but they cannot see it right so what you need to do is to follow your heart follow your bliss you can see what not other people can see right so that's the message it's a very beautiful message oh, i didn't expect this to go like this <laughs> so let's see what it is it's divine timing thing too it's a divine timing oh you got two cards again a cure looking party and we have growing and growing wow growing and growing oh in this i think alice is growing 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 right uh, yes uh, uh so in this something happened like they uh, the, i i will read the story in the alice in the wonderland because i feel like it's needed here i'll just read the story 8 number 8 uh coming out from her own oceans of tears alice met a motley group of animals who were trying to dry off just like she was among them the dodo recommended they should all do a quackus race which consider consisted of running in circle without anyone winning or losing however absurd the race may have sounded they indeed found themselves dry, dry in the end oh my god what was saying <laughs> they did something different yes it was stupid <laughs> interestingly but they got the results here again you are doing something in a different way not like other people or maybe people will tell you that it's stupid and but you can see that you're going to get the outcome here you're going to grow right again maybe you just want a small home right you just want to be in your home do that uh, on online yeah online you want to work or maybe you want to do something very differently yeah not in the way that other people are doing but you will achieve the same results in a different way yes that's what i felt like again you have the 8 and the 9 the cards and look at the lotus hero how could i never uh, miss that and look at the lotus blossoming wow that's beautiful so so don't worry you will grow so keep keep on following your bliss keep on doing what makes sense to you right so your journey might be different but you will have that happiness Yeah, at the end you will get the result. So let's see what else here. You will blossom. The lotus it like you will blossom. So let's see. Okay, you have two cards. You're getting extra cards as well. Okay, so let's see. Okay. Wow, again, look again. Look again. 
movement choices and decisions. This person is like, there are so many choices. Everyone's choice is going to be different. What is best for you? Do that. Do that. What serves your heart? Do that. Not everyone wants the same thing. But yes, we as a society, we have been brainwashed into feeling like everyone has to have the same kind of life. And that's why I feel like there are so many people who are not happy in their life because they go just by that uh, conditioning. And here you are like, you are like, yeah, why I should go? For me, there are four doors, not only one door. For other people, it might be only one door. That's the way of living. But for you, I can achieve my success in a different way that makes me happy. Then why I'm going to go that way that doesn't make me happy? Look, yes, firm foundation. Oh God, look, you are going to create that stability in a different way though, in, a un in your own unique way. In not the way that other people are telling you. So at this time, if there are people who are not understanding your unique journey, not understanding that you will be able to take care of your own needs, it's okay, <laughs> it's fine. You just keep growing, you just keep blossoming here. And you be strict with this thing because you know where you're going. Your heart is guiding you to a particular way, go. This is your right path, you're right. Okay, so that's what the message is. So again, there is worries as well, trapped in fear because there is fear, what if I don't grow, what if I don't get because this is something different, right? Don't worry, you will get there. So let's see. Yeah, again, it's it, it, it can be with other people, you know, the other people are creating a lot of confusion. This is the way of living. This is the way of doing things. At this age, you should do this. At that age, you should do this. But maybe you're not like that. You're having different approach to things, a unique approach. Follow that. Follow your bliss. That's what the message is here. Follow your bliss. Again, the four. Uh, this is also the emperor and this is also the emperor twice. The emperor came. You can, you can succeed in it. The emperor is a successful man, right? And you can. You can. So you can do things differently, yet you can achieve the results. For example, you don't have to go to that corporate ladder and make that much money. You can be in your house, you know, use, utilizing your talents and you can make that much of income that you want to take care of yourself and other people as well, yes. And with this eight, you have you can do it in a different way and achieve the same results here. So let's see what else here for my lovely group, our group. What else they need to know? Yeah, don't let, look again, dream thief. Don't let anyone tell you that your dream is not worth it your dream is unique your way of living is unique go for it don't let anyone else fears pull you back here at this time go follow your bliss you will make it happen look don't you know it right this is your dream dream and journey this is your alone dream yeah this is your dream this is your journey Go for it. <laughs> it's not someone else. You know what's best for you at this time. With this 30 number, you're gonna end those, end those fears and go for it. Yeah. Embrace your own uniqueness and go for it. So let's see the final message here. Okay, this is the card. Listen to your intuition. Yes, listen to yourself, guys. You can see what other people cannot see. You can see that this goal of yours you can achieve. So go for it. Take action. No need to worry. No need to make everyone understand that this is your plan. You just go, follow your bliss and do it. Because you're going to grow. You're going to blossom. You're the emperor. <laughs> you will make it happen in a different way. Not in the way everyone else is doing. But you will get the results that you want to get. Okay, so that's all I have for our group. Hope it made sense. Hope it resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up. I will see you soon. Bye-bye. If you have been drawn to the moth, let's see what is the message. Finally, it's divine timing for you to hear this message. Uh, so let's see what is the message. I'm seeing like a cave here. And uh, yeah, cave. I don't know why I'm seeing a cave. So maybe for some of you, this is like it's time to get in touch with yourself. Maybe spending alone time with yourself should be a priority. If you are too much in this busy world, maybe uh, finding some alone time is necessary for you guys at this time. Uh, uh, so let's see. Anyways, it's finally divine timing for you to hear this message. 
smooth crop tubers yes look we have the uh, protection and uh, key there is a new beginning oh there is a new beginning for you guys it's finally time for this new beginning and as you go to this new beginning one thing you need to understand is you are going to be protected because the hansa is hanging on this key oh for some of you if you have if you are constructing a home uh, finally buy some uh, like or uh, like uh, yeah hamsa or uh, maybe in your culture there is like a protection symbol uh, if you want to place it in your home it will be a very good thing oh wow i oh the cave can also be uh, be a place where we are feeling comfortable where we are feeling safe where we have the privacy so maybe a new home it's finally time for your new home <laughs> or yeah maybe you're getting a uh, yeah you're buying a new home maybe you're ready for it or maybe already you are looking for home then it will all it will all happen uh, in a amazing way and finally it's divine timing for you to have that home or that comfort place yeah where you will feel safe secure or this is a new beginning a new start it can be for some of your new job right it can be a new uh, car um, or it can be a new person it is a new beginning a new beginning here okay yes and this new beginning is going to be very stable with the taurus second house energy with wealth and stability so for me i i was seeing the cave yeah cave Uh, so it feels like a comfortable place where you have your own space where you your your you're feeling very protected very comfortable you're in your own skin you don't have to be someone else because that's 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 the space for you right uh, yes so a new beginning that is very very protected very very stable is opening up for you guys here yes that's what i'm getting here <clears throat> uh, and i feel like here with these two uh, charms you have really worked on your healing you have really cut cords for uh, from lot of things you have let go of lot of patterns and that's the reason of this new beginning that is going to be so safe uh, divine is is going to support you in everything even if there is delays divine will support you even your delays will be divinely guided i really feel like that and you can sense it at this time you can feel it at this time right you might feel like yeah there is this new chapter opening for me guys there is like i will get this new job or uh, yeah finally i'll get i will be able to buy this new home finally i'll be able to get the car at the correct price right maybe you have been feeling it already so yeah you are so safe while you make this new new thing change this thing yeah getting into a new home a new job a new business whatever this is something new or new person a new friendship this change is going to be so safe so protected look at it with this dog and the dog, dragonfly for me dragonfly tra uh, represents change transformation and then we have the dog dog is like loyalty protection so you can trust that this new beginning of yours is going to be stable secure protected because you have done the work and you know it you have done the work you would definitely have worked on your inner self you have healed certain things so the patterns that have repeated before is not going to repeat at this time this new beginning is safe so a new beginning is is coming your way it can be a new friendship that will really really that will be very stable very secure you can trust this friend for other people a new home new car whatever it is or maybe uh, for some of you this can be a new skill that you're uh, learning it will give you benefit in the future something like that so whatever it is this new thing is safe is protected that's what you need to know here so let's see or maybe this can be a health journey that you're starting uh, yeah maybe you're uh, yeah starting a new project or maybe you're working on your health whatever this is it's safe it's protected it will give you the results you will be happy okay so let's see a new beginning is coming maybe for some of you can already sense it <laughs> but for other people this is going to be a surprise but you have let go of something you have already let go of something so let's see what else here 
oh this can be like someone around uh, someone for someone it's like the repair can be like in your home there has been some repair uh, and so for that you have you had to stay somewhere else now uh, the repair has been finished and you're coming back to your own home and yeah yeah that's the feeling some sort of repair has happened now we don't need any of that repairs and you can be uh, be in that cave right safely no one will um, come and bother you so so this is going to be a smooth ride now without obstacles here that's what spirit is telling you if there has been obstacles a lot of yeah maybe you were trying to buy a new home but there was a lot of obstacles not anymore because this is for you okay so you have more cards i feel like be brave and honest transform and un unveil your gifts okay i really feel like this these the you guys are very very uh someone who sacrifices a lot i feel like that you give a lot to other people but sometimes it comes at a at a price right sometimes it comes uh, for, for some of you it is at your health price that you are giving too much maybe for some, some for some of you it financially you're giving too much and it can it can uh, yeah it will it will come with a price because you will have to uh, do hard work it's very good to give but sometimes we need to be brave and honest like it, me giving too much is not going to benefit them or me because for example a person who if he, if that that person if it, if that person doesn't have a good mindset no matter how you give that person is going to uh, not be grateful the, the other party will be not be grateful and they will they will just delay their own healing journey for example a person who has financial issues you can give you can help but if you start helping you will be helping 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 rather than that what we need to do is to yeah help help them change their mindset then only they will improve their life otherwise you're going to give it for example an alcoholic person yeah maybe they want uh, to buy alcohol and you feel like they're suffering so you just give money and they buy alcohol they drink but you have understood that it's not giving you anything in return and it's not helping them with their journey so it's better sometimes you have to take a step back and not help certain people and you have to focus on yourself and that's bravery that's honesty right sometimes you got to uh, take care of your well-being uh, yeah i feel like that's one thing has been told here very very uh, strongly here it's divine timing for that uh, for that if you have been constantly helping someone for their own healing journey and they're not doing work they uh, relapse it's fe it feels like they come back again to the starting point and you do it all over again it's time to stop it be honest with yourself it's not working they have to be responsible for their journey you cannot be responsible and if you feed them if you give them they will do the same thing again and again and again it's not going to benefit you it's not going to benefit them sometimes some people yeah this you know it's it's important that you, it, it's important to know that you cannot heal other people unless they are ready for that right it's just a waste of time so let them find their ways by themselves so what you need to do is to take a step back if there is someone around you at this time in your home or in a friend group you have helped them again and again and again and if you've seen that, that they do the same thing it's time to take a step back from them and focus on your gifts focus on your life focus on uh, doing something that makes you happy be brave and be honest about this thing you cannot sacrifice your goals your needs for other person and that person is not even doing anything they are just doing the same old same old yeah so that's something you got to think about okay uh, where are you giving your energy and you're not getting anything back and you will be noticing that that person is also not improving always remember you are in charge of your own healing yes you can help them you can guide them but you cannot do the healing for the person you are responsible for your own healing your own behaviors right yeah so you got to shift that attitude here and work on yourself your goals uh yeah and for example a person who really really loves animals right and they take care of every animal and now their home is full of animals it's not going to help the animal as well as that person right yes uh, yeah that, that's how we we can give 
but we have to give in balance and receive as well otherwise it's going to be unbalanced so that's something i feel like yeah, yeah uh, it's time to think about it and release these kinds of people who who have not been improving no matter how hard you uh, uh, try no matter how much you give they are not improving so maybe letting go of them and focusing on yourself is this new beginning and as you do it that's yeah you will be safe you will be secure you don't have to feel any guilt so please you you might have been feeling like why i have to do that all the time so be brave and be honest with yourself authenticity is important at this time so let's see moth yeah you got to eliminate certain for some of you this is your own patterns your own behaviors that you um that you do and it's not giving you any results here the same cycle repeats right and you got to take charge of it you got to be brave and honest and believe in yourself maybe this is self sabotage as well not believing in your own gifts not believing that you can make it so you just let go of good opportunities you give uh, your your opportunities to other people be honest you can do it right uh, let go of that fear as well so let's see you have it in you you have it in you but once you start shifting your mindset like i am not responsible for their healing i am responsible for mine once you take that approach you will see that yeah you will see that yeah they might not be happy about it at first but it will be the best for both of them so let's see yeah we have a splendidly dressed rabbit here you got to you got to enjoy your life i feel like that more here maybe look again it feels like lavish maybe you have been spending all your money on someone else and not saving for yourself maybe there is someone around you like that uh who you are giving money to and this person is kind of taking advantage of you yes where you can yeah it feels like you you are very responsible of other people you really care about other people you are very loyal kind of people and you give lot to other people but you are not getting that back and sometimes people kind of take advantage of it right so you got to be very honest am i taken advantage of did i did i get anything from that person or i am just giving 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 and it's draining you right so this is the time to be a little honest this is the time to have that fierceness and like yeah this is not my responsibility i tried doing this so many times i cannot do it i need to spend more on myself yeah it's not it's not selfish it's giving to yourself is important for uh, yeah maybe you have you had always a plan to buy a home but this person is taking so much of finance money from you so that that you cannot invest in yourself so is that happening so first you know you you can give you can give an an, an amount that you are making but at the same time be sure that you are not giving more than enough okay yes yeah you all i feel like you are someone who ha, who takes your responsibilities very well too much well but the other party who you are responsible for they are not living up to that and so it's very important that don't forget that in all these responsibilities don't forget yourself don't forget your own needs who you are what you want be honest here that's very important here okay uh so let's see it feels like in the in this uh, responsibilities and all you are somehow somewhere trapped and lost doing things for other people and now you don't have time for yourself and that's not serving you that's not making you happy so it's time to take first responsibility of yourself you are responsible for yourself first and then only other people yes there might be kids that you are responsible for yes you have to give them but maybe there is someone else also who can help you if that is the case there is help i really feel like that but here mostly i feel like there is someone who is taking advantage of you and they are not focusing on their healing and the more you help the the less they will take their own responsibility and it's not helping both the parties here so it's time it's time to let go of those kinds of people if there are okay and focus on yourself 
focus on your needs focus on your goals because there is this new beginning happening yes again with this tower card disruption yes again you know uh, you can you can help someone it feels like a example i will give you an example of a beggar you might give them lot of money right you you will give them a home to stay in and then after like 2 weeks 3 weeks they are all back on the street it's because of their mindset it's because yeah we we can help them but sometimes it's more yeah the healing is is someone's personal journey yeah so maybe it it feels like there is someone who is like that in your life and you got to be honest that you can you have done enough and now it's their responsibility to show up and do it for themselves here i'm getting that energy very strongly it's divine timing for that and now it's divine timing for you to focus on yourself on your new, new beginning on your health your uh, your gifts like your goals yep on your own healing okay i'll take the cards it's down cards were on the floor again okay, look temptation here the devil energy it's time to end that so this is this is a person who wants wants more 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 you give it more 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 they don't take responsibility they just want more more it's time to end this relationship look the waiting game you have been waiting for this person to change like they will change one day they will change one day they will change but nothing is happening and yes it's like so much of mental conflict here you're giving money and you're helping them you think that they will change and they never change they do the same thing repeatedly again and again and again and it yeah it it drains you it it drains you and you're not focusing maybe that amount that you're giving to this person financially maybe this person is um exhausting you or maybe mentally this person is exhausting you no matter how you how much you give you're not getting back you're just exhausted <laughs> they are also not improving their life you are ex exhausted now maybe if if it's financially you're giving 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 now you do, at the end you have to struggle even though you have enough money right that's what the feeling is and you're giving so much of energy to them that you don't have energy for yourself for your own dreams for your own goals right so you got to spend some alone time you got to let go of so people like this it's what the message is here because it's exhausting you the waiting game is exhausting you try but the same thing same thing right again this can be with your own behavior as well but mostly i feel like there is someone around you okay i'll just shuffle again what else for my moth viewers again this is a time for transformation you need to make that change okay wow look you are the magician at this <laughs> yes it feels like you have everything to make your dreams come true and this is the time to focus on yourself your own manifestation what you want to grow in your life your own new beginning saving for that home saving for that car using energy uh, in a very wise manner like because where we give where we give energy that grows so be very conscious of that as well that's what the message is Wow, we have the ten of pentacles. Yes, it's time to uh, create a garden with the flowers that you like, right? Not with the flowers that you don't like. Not with the responsibilities that you don't like. It's time to pluck out all the weeds and just uh, form a garden that makes you happy. You have that wisdom. You have that knowledge. You can manifest, yeah, money, whatever you want, you can manifest. But always, always remember, even though you have enough, the more you give to someone, if they're misusing it and they they're not changing their life, then there is it's just waste, waste. so always remember their healing is their responsibility your healing is your responsibility no matter how hard you try how how do you give if the if, if one of this person is not changing you got to stop it let them find their way by themselves be honest about it you might have felt it so many times so be authentic here uh so yeah so let's see there is more money as well coming your way there is a new beginning a new manifestation a new job a new home and there was there is very protected with this hans and yeah so yeah so let's see what else here what is the message for moth group this divine timing for you to hear this 
yeah wow look again possibility for union so what you really want that is what you need to work on right now that is what you need to manifest here so if there is someone who is mentally exhausting you this is the time to let go of that person this is the time to invest in yourself in your own dreams in your own goals because the more you invest in that the more you will find that happiness and again there is stability a new beginning a new home a stability a stable situation is there so if you have been praying for that that's definitely happening here so again repairing the veil right again if you feel like you're responsible for other people all the time why you feel like that maybe that is something that you have to heal and that's the reason you might be over helping someone right so balance that out uh, so forgive yourself uh, yeah and others so you can move on uh, so let's see the final message here again it feels like the spiral you know no matter how hard you try you you are in the spiral same thing same thing same thing repeating here it's time to let go of that so you can get out of that loop um, well, don't stop here. Don't stop giving to yourself. I feel like that. So again, there is this um, new beginning that is coming here for you guys. Uh, yeah, again, something. So it's time to focus on your healing. It's time to focus on your goals because there is an amazing new beginning. For some of you, you already know that. But an amazing protected yeah, new beginning is on the horizon for you guys. So maybe for some of you, this is about uh, focusing on your own healing, doing the work that you're doing at this time. But if there is someone who you wait to change, like they will change and you try, 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 if they are not, this is the time to let go of them here. Look, abundance. There is very good energy that is coming your way. So for that, you've got to let go of that low vibe energy here. If there is a friend like that, if there is a co-worker like that, or if it's a family member, you got to be honest here. You got to be brave, right? Uh, maybe every time it feels like with the knight, you know, the knight who is protecting the king by sacrificing their life. Yes, it's their duty. But, but here you got to be honest, right? You cannot be that knight all the time. You have been for a very long time, but not, not always. You cannot be, right? So that's what I'm getting here. Uh, for moth group. Hope it made sense. Hope it resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. You have been drawn to the crow. It's divine timing for you to hear this message. I was just feeling like an old version of you is dying, and this new version is, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. It feels like the old version has gone. Now this is this new version. Uh, yeah new way of thinking, new way of seeing things. You're becoming this new version who is more powerful, more courageous. Uh, yes, and you will be very proud of, a, of this new version. So um, yeah, you're letting go of this past habits, past programming that didn't serve you. And now you have uh, this, uh, this abundant mindset. And yeah, this is the new version that you're becoming. And that is leading to this new life. Yep, so let's see what else. You know, the crows are very, very intelligent as well. I feel like you have been so intelligent in not only uh, logically, but emotionally also you're a very intelligent person. But before, the past version of you didn't see that. But this new version is going to see how much intelligent you are, uh, how much capable you are. I even feel like this old version of you uh, used to say, I cannot do this, I cannot do this without even trying. This new version is like, I can, I can do it. I can try new things. I can get off, I get out of my comfort zone. I'm confident, like this is who you're becoming. This is about that. You're ready now, you're becoming, you're, you are, it feels like this new version of you is coming out more. And this past version has died here. That's the, it feels like this metamorphosis has happened inside of you. Now you're not, this, you're not the same person anymore. You don't feel that person. You are this new version who is more, more in their con power, more con in control. Uh, they, they get out of their comfort zone. They say more can'ts than can'ts, right? Yeah, there is full of love. You're loving yourself. You're taking care of yourself and you know when to balance. And I even feel like one of your qualities is uh, like you can really balance. 
your emotions by yourself you don't need anyone you have that emotional intelligence so that's why not everyone can do it but you can do it many people really need an outlet or really need an person to talk to and to you know to release that emotions but for you guys whenever you feel like yeah, there is too much going on you're overthinking you know you know you have your own ways your own techniques uh, to let go of that emotion emotions that is not good for you you knew balance very well here this yeah this new version is like that uh, so yeah this new version knows what to do where to go what what decisions they should make when they need to get out of their comfort zone uh, yeah again uh, for some of you if you have a creative outlet i see you will be getting awesome ideas for that and you will be doing it with love maybe sometimes you will be getting out ideas that will take you out of your comfort zone but i see you doing it anyways and you're going to move forward your intuition is very strong your intuition is going to guide you uh, and trust your intuition at this time trust your intuition and if there is any sort of ideas that you're getting for your creative outlet go and do it if you are a creative person if you're not in your work there will be ideas that will come creative solutions will come and trust that and do it and uh, maybe for your health also anything it can be so your intuition is very strong i feel like that trust it trust it go with it flow with it okay so the crow group was the message it's divine timing for you to hear this message okay wow mountains look again stand your ground interesting so that's the reason i was saying this past version of you and this uh, this new version that is be you're becoming right is so so different the past version sometimes might have given up so easily have cured but this version is not like that they know that that's best for them because they are very very guided intuitively they are very in touch with the, their own body they have this emotional intelligence you know that doesn't mean that past version didn't have it had but it didn't know how to use it now you know it and you now you know who you really are and now you now no one can use you to their advantage now you know your own qualities your own gifts your own skills and no one will make you feel like that you're not enough because you know that you're enough and that's who you're becoming and so beautiful wow so let's see what else for my crew viewers and you can face any challenge and overcome <laughs> it feels like the energy of this lion <laughs> yeah the energy of this lion is coming you're a lioness or lion <laughs> who knows their power and they're confident and they're going to stick to what they feel is right because you're intuitively guided so wherever you feel challenged stand your ground you can make it you can come out as a winner you can face any challenge so if there is something challenging remember you can face this you have that strength in you you have that courage and you can come out as a winner you will be able to um, uh, yeah you will be able to get out of any challenges and look waking up yes it feels like you're waking up to this new version of you who knows the balance who knows uh, that if yeah again the pepper and the salt if we add more salt the food is not tasty if we add more pepper the that will be very spicy we cannot have it we cannot enjoy it so it feels like you're understanding that that balance is very important and where you have to add how much salt you have to add how much you have to do it feels like there is this balance of meat amazing balance that you have that is going to give you a lot of success this new version knows that they are so skilled here and it feels like you're waking up to this new version of you who is guided by their intuition and they're trusting it and they're listening to their body and they're doing what their body tells them to do what their intuition tell, tells them to do and that's that means they're listening like they're getting out of their comfort zone they're ready to face any challenges because they know that there is this higher power that is guiding right and yes you are waking up to this new version of you here that's what i'm getting here uh, you have yeah it feels like this past version had all these qualities but we are we live in a society when the children come they have been 
programmed in a certain way, right? Our subconscious is programmed in a certain way. I'm, I'm reminded of this book, right, Transurfing, and in that I feel like it, it, it talks about a script that has been handed over to everyone, and everyone is reading it and doing as the script, uh, script says, not realizing that they can change their script based on the things that they desire. And in the, the past version was like that, following the script, uh, you know, following the crowd, trying to fit in, trying to please everyone, trying to live a ba life based on society like but now that's changing that's shifting this new version is not like that they're very awake they have waken up from that like it feels like some of you are so so close like they're just sleeping listening to what others are telling and doing it they're not they're not in touch with their soul they're just sleep asleep right and now you have woken up now you know your strengths, your courage. Now you're not binded by what other people are doing. You don't want to go with that. You're not, you're not in a race anymore, right? You know what you are, who you are, and what makes you happy. And you're adding that perfect flavor to everything and making it in a way that makes you happy. Maybe your blend of spices will not be someone else's taste, but it's your taste and you're understanding it. So now it feels like you're not going by the herd. You're this lion, <laughs> lion energy. You're embracing your own self, your own uniqueness and this, this new version, you're becoming that person here. So I really feel in the past, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm getting this example of my, uh, mine as well, you know, when I was young, um, I also, you, I always believed like my parents are all, always right. I never thought that my parents will be never wrong. But now I came to realize like so, in so many ways they were bounded by the society and they just did what the society wants and they just followed the rules of the society. Not, yeah, in, in the fear they... Uh, they had this limited mindset and I couldn't see that but now I can see it so clearly <laughs> but that past version couldn't and that's that's what I'm mentioning here the what all the past version couldn't see now you're seeing so now you're going to live in a live a life that makes you happy not others okay and yes sometimes there will be people who will not, not like you for that but that's okay <laughs> yeah so let's see you cannot I feel like now you don't have that also. If someone doesn't like you, you're fine with it. <laughs> so let's see what else here. Yeah, deception and envy. This is like, this is like the, you know, you're out of that deception and envy is like our programming, the mask that we wear, right? Uh, yeah. Again, we are born, we are raised in a society and we do what other people do tell us to do without knowing anything, without understanding anything, we just call, follow, follow, follow. And we and at the end, we might not be happy as well because we're just following. We are not understanding who we really are. We are hi hiding, right? Our authentic self is hiding under a mask. Everyone is in a mask and now you're ready to remove the mask. Like again, the mask is lifted, right? You're lifting that mask and you are becoming this authentic version that you always wanted to become. But you didn't have the guts maybe before, now you are that. You're not hiding anymore here. This new version is not afraid. Oh wow, look again the intuition here, beautiful, the owl. You are allowing your intuition to guide you and you're trusting it no matter what. You're not trusting the societal rules. Like, yeah, it feels like you're opening the heart chakra and you're listening to your own self. This is so beautiful, guys listening to your own self what makes you happy and you're also understanding that what makes you happy not might not make someone else happy and that's okay and what makes someone else happy might not make you so it's okay to live your life the way you want to live right that's what you're understanding and that you don't have to be the same 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 right you know, if you look at the society, there are so many people living the same life if in an environment. I mean, I, where I was raised, everyone used to get married at 20, 21. Um, like at a young age, having kids, doing the same thing. If one kid, then second kid, right? All the, all, everyone having a nine to five job, like this, this, this. This is how we have to live. We have been taught nothing different. If we try to do something different, then it's like, it's not good, blah, blah, blah. Like, Lord, we will hear. And that's where, that's where we lose our authenticity. That's where we lose the touch here. 
with our own self, with our own intuition. And I really feel like your past version might have, be born. Your, yes, you were born with so much, so much, so much potential. But somehow all that got lost. In this, yeah, because, yeah, you were in this world. You were born in this world. You were uh, you raised in a way where they didn't tell you to embrace yourself. <laughs> they told you to become someone else. They told you to fit in, fit in, fit in. And you did it. They told you to adjust, adjust, adjust. You adjusted. But not anymore. Not anymore. Now you don't want to live that kind of life. Now you're open. Now you can see. You, you can also see your own habits. Negative habits and you can release that. And I really feel like you're getting in touch with your intuition, your own heart, own self. And you're doing what is right. What feels authentic. And you're not afraid of anyone else at this time. Because yes, you are so pure, you're not going to hurt anyone. You're going to live a life that gives you that happiness, gives you that flavor. Because everyone's, like, a, like the food as well, everyone's taste is different. Some people might like a little spicy. Some people will like over spicy. It's like, yeah, but sometimes, sometimes we just don't uh, understand that, I feel like, you know. Uh, so let's see. Uh, so let's see what else here for crow viewers. It's divine timing for you. Four of cups. Tower. And we have, oh, high priestess again. Oh my God. Look who you are becoming. You're becoming someone who trusts themselves, who listens to their body, who trusts divine, who trusts the higher realms, who can get the messages from the higher realms. And just living a life based on what feels right, what feels authentic. And this one, this Four of Cups, where you were not seeing it. And that's that. This past version of you is ending. This Four of Cups is the past version. So maybe you are living a life that your parents wanted, right? You're doing everything right as your parents wanted. But you were not satisfied. You were not happy. There was this void in you. It, it felt like, again, there might be a job that you had. It was fulfilling all your needs, but you were not happy there. You were always pleasing. You are always doing what others wanted. And that's, that's like, again, the universe was always protecting you at that time also. You were always guided. You were always protected. But finally, you are like deciding, I don't want. That was built all on false, false foundations. I just want to let go of. And I really feel like you have let go of this past version of you. But you have learned so much. This past version has struggled so much. And you understand that. You love that. But now you are this new version who is out. Who is not behind. The, the true, true self is out. The true, the true you is out. Who you are. You are understanding that. Embracing that. Without any fear. And showing you, the real you to the world. Not hiding anymore. And again, this high priestess, I really feel like you are going to live a life based on your heart, heart-based living, Zen mode, like trusting the process, uh, in being in the present moment, not just fearing life, actually enjoying life, embracing more joy, <laughs> and like that kind of living you want to be having. And you're going to live a life that is different from others. Yep. Wow. Beautiful. Okay. So let's see what else here. Yeah, protecting the future. Look again, this sacred contract. You were meant for this kind of life. You are not cho choosing uh, the fated life. You are creating your own destiny. <laughs> that's that's what it feels like. Again, again, you are safe here. You are secure. Your future is secure. Like again, the house, our body can be our own house. How we feel in our body is so important. Our heart, how we feel about ourselves, how we uh, take care of ourselves. It all. All, all is so necessary. But many, many times, our home, our body, like our mental health, physical health, sometimes we take it for granted. And we just, uh, we just do so much of hard work, so much, so much, yeah, uh, in order to protect something that is that doesn't need to be protected, right? So maybe for some of you, it's like having this much amount. So I have to work, work, work. Maybe that will not protect you. At the end, maybe it will give you some health, health issues. Mental health is not good. Yeah, sometimes we are in this race. Why? We are not honoring our own temple, our own body. 
uh, I feel like you are not in that race anymore. You're doing something that makes you happy. Maybe many of you, you will be working from home, doing something that you're passionate about, living a slow-based living. I'm even getting like that. Not in the race anymore. But but you, you are like, divine will protect me. Divine will protect my future. And yes, that's what it is, intuition. Like trusting your intuition, trusting your heart, and doing... Uh, <laughs> doing what feels right <laughs> yes and again there is a lovely home for you guys if you do, have not manifested this lovely home i feel like in your future there is this lovely home that you will be manifesting uh yeah it will be so beautiful and again this clarity on organization this is your mind is very clear now so you can trust your intuition here and yes your future is also protected okay so let's see the final message here for my crew group viewers, what was the final message? We have reconsider. Oh, it feels like the Archangel Michael is here. Okay, improving health. Okay, remain positive. Okay. <laughs> so I, I really feel like right now you are focusing on your mental health, your physical health. Uh, you're reconsidering your physical mental health. You're not in the competition anymore, right? You're, yeah, it feels like your home, your mental health, your understanding, your home, your, yeah, your, your mental health should be treated like a temple. Your body should be treated like a temple. So you have to release all those negative thoughts, patterns that is not good. And reconsidering the old patterns that really is not good for our health. Letting go of that negative negative things. So again, it's reconsidering is like that only. Uh, the choices that we make every day, you're like, oh, this is not a good choice, so I should just let go of it. It's not good for my health, so I should not, I should not take it. Like again, it feels like you're trusting your intuition, making choices based on it, and sometimes maybe everyone is going with a trend, right? And everyone is saying that's healthy, but you will be like, should I? And you will just, if it doesn't feel good, you're not going to do it, right? Uh, so your health is also improving. Your mental health is also going to thrive this new version of, of yours. So yes, be, be you're, yeah, again, okay, a very positive light, uh, life I see because you will be very positive. Yep. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys, uh, pro viewers. Hope it made sense. Hope it resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up. I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Finally, divine timing for you to hear this message. Uh, you were drawn to the cat. Let's see what is the message here. Uh, so I'll start with your charms and then we will move on to the cards. I am seeing your ring. Ring. Oh, maybe for some of you, uh, there is some sort of proposal or commitment happening. Okay. So let's see. Uh, it's finally divine timing for you to show this message. Oh, I'm seeing like dolphins as well. Dolphins. Ah, you know, two hearts. I was seeing like two dolphins jumping at the same time and dolphins having a lot of fun here. So, ah, so more. Uh, yeah, you are going to celebrate something. You are going to celebrate something that you have been working on really, really hard. And it was a very slow progress, but finally you can make the announcement and two hearts are coming together and you're going to celebrate. So for some of you, this is marriage here. Finally, you will be getting married <laughs> in the coming, uh, yeah, in the future, like maybe in six months. Uh, I'm not sure about the timing, but uh, this is like for some of you, this relationship pace was very slow, very slow. Uh, but you have to do a lot of work in this relationship. Finally, you can like give that announcement that uh, I'm going to this next level. Or for some of you, this was a little uh, like you have been waiting for that proposal, right? For that ring. And finally, that's happening. Like, yeah, it is going to be a magical experience, I feel like. With a lot of music. Uh, yeah, it is going to be beautiful. Maybe you will go on a date and... Um, and uh, you will have a very magical experience right for some of you this is like someone announcing that you, you that they love you or something like that that you have been waiting for very slow for some of you it fits a situationship or something like that finally that's getting into this like you will be like their their person that is also there that is all about love the other thing is something that you really really love doing like something like music right it, it can be a craft that you love doing. Finally, you can announce that you're going to this next stage. That, or maybe you, you can announce that you are having like a stage. 
stage event like you can you're going on stage and singing you have this opportunity so you can you can announce that for some of you your art um art has been appreciated some for some of you music has been appreciated so you can announce that good news to other people it has been a very slow journey though this is something that has been very long time coming you are waiting you are waiting finally it's on the door and you're getting the delivery it's the feeling and now you're announcing everyone i got the delivery <laughs> okay so that's what i'm getting here uh so uh let's see what else i just feel like So yeah, okay, let's start mm, for the cat viewers or maybe for some of you, you are definitely signing contracts and you will be announcing it. Yeah, celebration. Okay, one on the floor. Yeah, we have the arrow. Uh, surround yourself with protective energy. Wow. Like again, the arrow. Arrow, it, it, when we like arrow like we have to be on the focus right even though things might not be happening in the way you wanted even if there were obstacles even where things were um were uh, slow your focus was this thing you wanted this thing and you did everything to protect it and you just went with that like the tortoise and the hair story right i feel like the main thing the uh, the reason why tortoise won is even though it was slow it had focus it had the attitude of not giving up. It believed in, in itself. Even though it, the story was so slow, it believed right, that it can make it happen. So, yeah, it didn't get distracted. It, it, it had that focus, trusted, had faith. And finally, he achieved the goal, right? And for you guys, you are going to achieve that goal because you were focused with this arrow. Your eyes were always on the price and you did whatever you could do. You repaired whatever you could repair, like your own behavior. You did everything. So right now, only share this information with the people who you trust, though. Don't share it with someone uh, who you don't trust, or maybe they, if there are people around you who really take advantage, uh, please uh, don't share with them. Keep it secret. Only share with the people who really love you, who, re who you can trust, okay? Look again, you did trust in the unknown, isn't it? Like the eagle, you are leveling up, you are flying high. So, yeah. Uh, so, let's see what else here. For some of you, there is a win as well. Like you are announcing a win. But if there is this win that you are announcing, announce with the people who you really feel secure with. Okay? That's very important. Even if you are getting money or something like that, don't share with everyone. Your sh uh, yeah, keep it with only the people who you trust. Uh, you've got to protect this thing. So, or maybe uh, if you have a social media, uh, don't, yeah, it's not the time to just uh, go and uh, uh, spread there. Take, uh, like, if you have this thing, you got this, announce it to the people who you really love. That's, I feel like that's one of your advice here. So, let's see. It's divine timing for you to hear this message. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, we have the Duchess cook. Ah, uh, this is she's very talented cook, right? Yes, it's about your talents as well. Something that you have been perfecting. So again, if you were again, this is a chef, right? And now you are being recognized as a very brilliant chef <laughs> yeah you're you're maybe you are going to sign up with a huge company who is going to give you double salary or something like that right so again this can be a relationship where you have been adjusting the flavors you have been working on yourself you have been trying to improve the relationship and finally you are being upgraded to the next level <laughs> that's what it is right you are getting that upgrade that promotion i'm getting here you are getting that promotion that upgrade your talents your skills the the person you are how dedicated you are i feel like this uh, the, the other people are recognizing for some of you other people are seeing your talents if this is about a relationship the other person is seeing how organ how good of a person you are how much uh, how much you can give how much you Oh, yeah, you deserve like this person is seeing that as well. They're seeing your um, amazing qualities here <sighs> Okay, so let's see what else 
we have the intuition okay did you come from group number five or what because uh um yeah i'm sorry i had to on the ac it's very hot uh so let's see what else here oh things are going to get hot <laughs> Okay, anyways, yeah, Eight of Cups and Throat Chakra. Hmm. Look, we have this uh, happy family vibes here. So definitely for some of you, this is uh, you getting married. Next level. Uh, or maybe if you're married, going starting a family, maybe buying a new home. Uh, yeah, maybe you're signing contracts. So there is some sort of communication coming here, okay? Yeah, again, it has been a very slow energy. Very slow energy. Uh, and I, I feel like intuitively you might have felt that it's coming it's coming but it never happened so i feel like uh, you are in this process of letting it go you're not overthinking about it you're like oh if, if it happens let it happen i'm not going to think about it i'm just going to work on my goals i'm going to keep my uh keep my eyes on the prize but i'm not going to uh, stress i'm just going to trust so again you have emotionally withdrawn you're not giving that uh, I fear anxiety to this thing anymore I feel like that you're just trusting in divine and finally this communication that you have been aiming for it's coming here so this is you signing contracts this is you getting that uh, home or maybe again upgrade as as uh, uh, yeah you're getting that ring upgraded as uh, this from girlfriend to wife uh, or boyfriend to husband or whatever this is I, uh, yeah some sort of a plane but you were waiting for this before you had this anxiety whether this will come true or not even though you were working but i realized i'm reala realizing like recently you might have withdrawn you're just trusting you've withdrawn that anxiety that fear and finally the good news is coming here the communication is coming here okay uh, yes okay so let's see uh, what else it's divine timing for you to know this message it's divine timing cat reverse wow we have the night of oh my god yes your heart desires are coming true suddenly this is going to happen at a very unexpected time okay <laughs> look again we have the seven of cups here like knight of cups look their hands their heart like they have this heart oh again the music is there here yeah, their heart wanted something so so much their heart wanted it and in order to achieve that i really feel like that you have focused on your goal you have learned so much you have cultivated patience it oh my god i'm not getting it i'm sorry <laughs> i was trying to pick it up yes again you might have tried to pick it up but it didn't come many times you didn't get it but finally, now you're able to pick it up and it's yours. Finally, luck is in your favor. Yeah, again, the timing, the time, you were focused on the time. You were like confused whether this will happen or not. Should I change my wish? Like this is my wish. I'm sticking to it. I'm focusing on it. Should I change my wish? Will it ever come true? Will it ever come true? That's where you were feeling anxious, right? That's where you were feeling anxious. And I feel like with this emotional withdrawal, you're like, okay. I'm not going to give that fear. I'm just going to trust that this wish will come true. And you're in that energy. And as you, as you are in that energy, this manifestation is going to happen because you will trust. Rather than feeling anxious, rather than feeling fear, you're trusting with this intuition. Like, yes, this is going to happen. And finally, this wish of yours, this heart desire of yours is you're getting it. And then your world is like... Like everything is changing, right, with this wheel of fortune. We, the fortune is in your hands. And this is one thing that you really, really wanted. Finally, you're getting that wish here. Okay, so let's see. Uh, the, oh. So let's see what else here for the cat viewers. Yeah, oh wow, look again. Again, repairing the uh, wheel and we have possibility of union so definitely you're getting that union okay so this can be some sort of relationship that didn't work out before is going to work out as you as you let go of the emotions this person is coming back that can be the thing again or maybe something that you have healed and you have repaired and that's why you're getting this thing again as i mentioned you did do the work i did mention here even though this is a very slow time slow it's a very slow moving energy you have been working overflow 
it's going to come. It is like again the wheel of fortune. The wheel is turning in your favor. You're going to be overwhelmed with a lot of success here. This is like for some of you, suddenly things are turning in your favor, and the reason is because you have repaired something. You have been healing something. You have been working on yourself. You have been healing your past. You have been, uh, you have been like again, you have been cutting cords, and that's leading to this union here. Okay, you're getting what you want. You're getting this thing finally. <laughs> I really feel like this is a long time coming thing and uh, yeah it feels like you have been working on your music for example and you want to make a name for yourself it didn't happen but even though it didn't happen you were focused on the goal and at the same time you were working on yourself you were changing your own behavior you were you were releasing uh, things that didn't serve you you were letting go of a lot of uh, people places I really feel like you have really worked on yourself and that's the reason of you getting this thing okay so let's see the final message here final message for the cat viewers oh, wow it's a yes okay so yes it's time it's time finally you're getting it yes yes <laughs> you're the first group i feel like yes came like this so yes yes it's yours hmm? this thing that you want is yours you're getting it <laughs> i'll take one more though Final messages. Yeah, I really feel like with this emotional withdrawal, you have emotionally let go of this thing. You're not fearing whether this will happen or not. You're just trusting it. Right now, that thing is going to happen. Yes, it feels like maybe for some of you, this is an advice as well. If you're not at that uh, that um, place in your life, for some of you, you are trusting. You have let go of the fear and anxiety. You're like, whenever it happens, let it happen. You're like that. And if that is the case, it's coming very, very soon. For other people, you might not be. You are a little bit anxious whether this will happen or not. And for them, it's an advice. This, is well, this will happen as soon as you emotionally let go of that fear and anxiety and trust that this is yours. And it's already done. Then it's yours. Okay, so you've got to trust in the higher power here. Trust in the unknown at this time. So yeah, that's the message here for my cat viewers. Hope it made sense. Hope it resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.